Jamal Thomas. Welcome to the Progressive Soapbox. So, Joe Manchin, this is not a come on down. This is a, a wag the finger more than anything else. Um, so, this was in the Greenville Gazette. The reason Democratic Senator Joe Manchin voted for Jeff Sessions, it ain't good. It is not good. So, as you probably know, Joe Manchin is the only senator who voted for Jeff Sessions. Everybody else, Cory Booker even came out and gave this um, soliloquy about why Jeff Sessions shouldn't get, the shouldn't get the position. But it's odd, right? Why would Joe Manchin, why would he be the lone gunman, the last antibody? Why would Joe Manchin be that guy? So we need to take a slight detour. So many read this is uh, Greenville Gazette. Many readers might remember how the CEO of Milan, Heather Breshek or Bresch, infamously raised prices on one of the drug company's most life-saving and prominent medicine products, the EpiPen. Bresch slowly raised the cost of each of these emergency epinephrine injectors over the last several years, and the total increase has nearly reached 500%. The decision to raise the price of this vital medicine was met with extreme public negativity, and Congress launched a full investigation into Bresch as a result of the price hike. If the FTC determined the price gouge was only meant to limit the competition for the EpiPen, that would confirm the antitrust laws have been broken. So let's, let's keep going. Senator Blumenthal stated that schools who were seeking help from the ever-increasing cost of the EpiPens by turning to the manufacturer itself for being forced to sign contracts that will force them to buy only Milan products for at least one year. The only way for the school to receive the discount would be to agree to the terms that the company set. Um, so so it's essentially extortion, it's saying, look, you want this EpiPen that I've raised by 500%? All right, I'll give you a deal. But in order to take this deal, you're going to have to just buy products for me and me only. Or you just don't take the deal. That's essentially what was taking place. Now, the interesting part, Heather Bresch, the CEO of Milan, is also the daughter of Senator Joe Manchin, the only Democrat to vote in favor of just Jeff Sessions. Come on, Joe. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Come on, dog. So, Manchin knew that Sessions was going to be confirmed whether or not he voted for him, which is a big point. Because keep in mind, they already had enough votes to put Manchin, I mean, to put um, Sessions in. Manchin went against his party oh, just overtly, just by virtue of being the only guy. He went against his party and voted for Sessions. Now, Sessions will preside over the case of Milan and Bresch in fact, it will be one of the first cases on which Sessions will be focusing. Many political experts now believe that the reason Manchin's vote was to show a genuine gesture of good faith towards Session, who will soon hold the fate of his daughter in his hands. Wow! Wow! That's rough, man. <laughs> Joe Sessions! All right, all right. Joseph, this is the guy who's um, this is the guy who's bashing Bernie like um, a few weeks ago, talking about primary. If you want my seat in West Virginia, primary. All right, yeah, tough guy. Voted for Jeff Sessions because his daughter might be going to prison. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one.